In this video I want to give you an introduction to what integrations are available for importing jobs into Spatula. So Spatula is great for managing where are your drivers uh, and where are your jobs, who's doing which job, seeing things in real time and providing uh, live driver tracking to your customers. But um, the only way to create jobs directly in Spatula is through this new jobs form which uh, is great and you can add a lot of as many details as you want. But most of the time you probably don't want to be typing them in at all because the job are coming from somewhere else. Um, so luckily for us there are a number of easy ways to get jobs into Spatula. So if you come up to this integrations tab, which might well be where you found this video, um, there are a few different things that you have options to do. First, at the top here you've got this scary looking code. If you're not sure um, what an API token is, you probably aren't going to be using that, but if you have a, a developer helping you, uh, this is what they're going to need. So if you, if you are writing your own app or your own uh, website from scratch and you want to be able to send jobs directly into Spatula, the best way to do it is to use the API docs and write that integration directly. Uh, that's also the hardest option available to you. Um, we've started writing some direct mail parsing, which means um, if you send an email from a particular uh, of a particular format to the address here, it'll automatically create a job in Spatula for you. Right now, um, it says menu log here. If you send a, an email confirmation from menu log or from eat now uh, to the email address, this, this is just for you, so this yours won't be the same as this one. If you copy this and forward your emails to that location, you'll see that that instantly creates a, a job in there, and we'll be adding more formats, more confirmation formats as we go. Um, and then there are a bunch of other things you can integrate with using Zapier. So Spatula uh, now has a Zapier integration, and if you're not familiar with Zapier, let me just show you what that looks like. If you come across to Zapier.com, I'm currently logged in as myself, but you can create a free trial account. Um, Zapier connects with a whole lot of different applications that you can use both as triggers and as actions to doing various things. It's a really neat product um, for, say, moving data from one um, from one format to another. An incoming email gets posted to Slack or an, uh, a line in a spreadsheet gets sent to Facebook, whatever it is that you want. Um, and there are a whole lot of different places that you can get jobs from to then create deliveries or create on-site um, things for your team to do. So for example, Shopify, very popular one um, for an e-commerce website. In fact, if you sort, if you look in uh, these, this drop-down list, you'll see there are a bunch of different categories. So some popular categories for connecting to Spatula are things like um, e-commerce. So if you come to e-commerce, you can see there's Shopify, WooCommerce, a couple of really popular ones. Um, there's Big Commerce, lots and lots of different places where your your customers are putting through an order it can automatically create a delivery request in Spatula. Um, another really interesting one to use, I'm not sure which category is in, is Mail Parser. Let's not filter by that. Filter by nothing. Oops. Let's filter by nothing. Oh, can't get rid of the filter. Filter by popular. Okay. <laughs> um, Mail Parser is a paid service as well, but that'll basically let you create your own mail passes if you can't wait for us to finish ours, um, and I can help you set those up if needs be as well. There's um, basically any structured data coming through in email format, you will be able to set up your own template We're using Mail Parser and then send that information to Zapier to create your job in Spatula. Sounds like it's complex, but it's not too bad at all. Um, the other thing that you might like to do is to use Google Sheets, um, which oftentimes you've got a CSV file or an Excel file that's got all of the jobs that someone's given to you from, from another system. Um, this would enable you to copy and paste the rows from that sheet into Google Sheets and uh, Zappy will automatically create jobs in Spatula from that. Um, so there's a whole lot of different options, as you can see, for taking jobs automatically from somewhere else, putting them directly into Spatula. And in a future video, I'll show you how to manipulate the data a bit in Zapier to get the data that you need for Spatula, and I'll show you how the Spatula template itself works. Um, but for now, that should give you a good idea of all the different places where you can automatically import your jobs. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, see you in another video.